All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the uh, Freedom Office. I'm going to tell you something, man. What an incredibly busy week. This time last week, I was at the uh, Griffin Group getting ready for Memorial 3 Gun on Monday. Had to go to Pennsylvania. Tuesday, New York. Wednesday, New Jersey. And now we're back down in Charlotte, North Carolina. Home is sweet home. So anyway, I got an email from a good friend, Dave, over there. And uh, yeah, man, this is a uh, gun buyback from New York. <laughs> backfires pretty much and i think it's absolutely awesome man this is the kind of stuff that uh really blows up in the democrats face and uh, i wanted to share this with you so david this is from the guardian and uh new york changes gun buyback after seller gets twenty one thousand dollars for 3d printed parts rich i know what you're thinking and i'm thinking it too participant used 3d printer to make firearm parts in bulk that he then exchanged for gift cards <laughs> yes how cool is that all right so uh this happened this is uh, from the associated press in new york tuesday 11 october uh the attorney general of new york has changed the rules of a state gun buyback program after a participant exploited the system by using 3d printer to make firearm parts in bulk that he then exchanged for wait for it twenty one thousand dollars in gift cards <laughs> i'm sorry but that's awesome that is absolutely awesome the seller who identified himself by a pseudonym uh said he traveled from west virginia to a gun buyback on 27 august uh in utica new york to take advantage of a loophole in the program and to demonstrate that buybacks are futile in an era of printable weapons. Yeah, absolutely. At the buyback, the seller turned in 60 printed auto sears, small devices that can convert firearms into fully automatic weapons. Under, well, you know what's interesting is that be careful with that shit because, well, you know, the feds can show up at your door. Small devices that convert firearms into fully automatic weapons. Under the rules of the buyback hosted by the office of the Attorney General Letitia James, and city police that entitled him to $350 for each of the printed items, including a $100 premium since they were deemed ghost guns lacking serial numbers. This is ingenious. This is, reminds me of that one guy that uh, was, uh, took all the 80% uh, lowers down in Florida. The seller who declined to provide his real name said in an email on Monday, the prospect of making money was enticing, but that the big reason he took part in the buyback was to send a message. He called the idea of buybacks ridiculously stupid, and they actually are. I wish they would just go ahead and say compensated confiscation, compensated conf confiscation by compensation. Yeah. Because that's actually what it is. They're not buying something. They didn't own it to start off with. But this is the way the typical big government thinks is that they, everything belongs to me. And because I'm allowing you to borrow it or use it, but we can take it away from you at any time. He called the idea of buybacks ridiculously stupid, adding that the people running this event are horribly uneducated about guns, gun crime, and law surrounding regulation of guns. What a guy. I love this guy. James Office said and responded to the loophole by giving buyback personnel more discretion to determine the value of weapons being handed in and setting a standard that all 3D guns accepted by the program must be capable of being fired more than once. More than once. So here's the deal, man. So they want to make sure that you can fire the gun more than once, but if you own it, it's illegal and you can't carry it in public. But they did have an injunction on that stupid thing saying that you can't carry in public locations in New York was stupid to include Times Square. The new rules were in place by September 17th when the Attorney General's office hosted a gun buyback in Syracuse suburb Camillus. It's shameful. It's shameful it exploited a program that was successfully taking thousands of guns off the streets to protect our communities from gun violence. Buybacks are a popular way for government officials to try to get guns off the streets. Not really. Because what happens is uh, criminals are not going to turn in their guns. Okay, Some of the firearms turned in are legally owned. Others are relinquished by people who aren't allowed to own weapons or, or are turning in guns that have been illegally altered. That's absolute bullshit. I don't know. A single criminal goes, oh my God, they're having a buyback. I get $300 for my gun. That's not happening. Most of the guns in the picture that they posted were 22 calibers. One was even a Red Ryder baby gun. Oh, uh, 
The rule change by James comes as the state and federal officials attempt to deal with the prolific proliferation of ghost guns. Joe Biden announced in April changes the definition of a firearm in the federal law to include unfinished parts. And that's bullshit, too, which would include those made by 3D printers. The New York Attorney General's office has been hosting buybacks since 2013. James has warned that ghost guns are fueling a gun violence epidemic and sees the buybacks as part of the solution. As do police forces in Syracuse and elsewhere, we have partnered with local police throughout the state to recover more than 3,500 $3, guns. And one individual's greedy behavior won't deter us from fighting for public safety of all New Yorkers. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thanks, David, uh, for sending this in. This is actually this is from The Guardian. Pretty cool website. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Gun buyback backfires. Yeah. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Y'all be good. I'm out here. Don't forget to check out KB32TAC.com for the latest deals and deals and wheels. Uh, we're going to be updating that website here very soon to include uh, weekly deals. Y'all be good. I'm out here. Boom.